Every year, millions of babies enter the world before they're ready. Preterm birth, defined as delivery before 37 weeks of gestation, remains one of the greatest unsolved challenges in global maternal and infant health. It affects one in 10 births worldwide and is the leading cause of death in children under age five. But did you know that the answer to preventing many of these births might lie in something microscopic, invisible, and quietly powerful? Today we're talking about lactobacillus, a genus of beneficial bacteria, and how it might hold the key to healthier full-term pregnancies. The vaginal microbiome, a diverse ecosystem of bacteria, viruses, and fungi, is one of the most influential yet overlooked components of female reproductive health. A healthy vaginal microbiome is usually dominated by lactobacillus species, protective bacteria that help keep the environment acidic, prevent harmful microbes from taking over, and maintain immune balance. But when these friendly bacteria are depleted and replaced by a more diverse, less beneficial community, especially ones associated with bacterial vaginosis, the risks increase. Among those risks, miscarriage, preterm labor, preterm premature rupture of membranes, early onset neonatal sepsis. So what increases a woman's risk of spontaneous preterm birth, a history of late miscarriage, a previous preterm delivery, surgical treatments for cervical precancer, such as excisional procedures. These clinical factors have something in common. They are all associated with disruption of lactobacillus dominance in the vaginal environment, especially a reduction in lactobacillus crispatus. Let's meet the key players. In a healthy vaginal microbiome, there are four common lactobacillus species. Lactobacillus crispatus, the gold standard, protective, anti-inflammatory. Lactobacillus caseri, helpful but less dominant. Lactobacillus jensenii, common but not as potent as L. crispatus. Lactobacillus einers, the wild card, sometimes protective, sometimes problematic. L. crispatus is associated with full-term pregnancies, fewer infections, and a calmer immune response. L. einers, on the other hand, has a habit of coexisting with dangerous microbes, allowing inflammation to build. Here's something else. Vaginal microbiome composition varies by population. Caucasian women are more likely to have L. crispatus dominance. Black and Hispanic women, however, tend to have L. einers dominance or highly diverse microbial profiles, and that matters. Because low L. crispatus and high microbial diversity during pregnancy have both been linked to higher rates of preterm birth. This racial disparity in microbiome composition may help explain some of the persistent inequities in pregnancy outcomes. But how exactly does this microbial imbalance cause preterm labor? It starts with the immune system. In L. crispatus-dominated environments, levels of pro-inflammatory cytokines are kept low. This promotes a calm, stable, vaginal, and cervical environment. But in the absence of L. crispatus, especially when pathogenic bacteria invade, the immune system activates. Cytokines surge. These stimulate prostaglandins, the chemical messengers that trigger uterine contractions and membrane rupture. Before long, labor starts, far too soon. And it's not just microbes. Even medical procedures intended to protect the cervix, like cervical circlage, can sometimes disrupt the vaginal microbiome. When circlage is performed using multifilament sutures, it has been shown to reduce lactobacillus abundance and increase colonization by harmful bacteria, further fueling inflammation and early cervical ripening. It's a delicate balance, protecting the cervix without harming the microbiome. Now here's a fascinating twist. Both bacteria and vaginal cells are coated with molecules called glycans. Think of glycans as sugar structures. They serve as anchor points for bacteria and even function as food sources. A groundbreaking study showed that women who lack specific glycans, particularly blood type antigens, are more vulnerable to preterm birth especially if they have low lactobacillus levels and high bacterial diversity. This reveals a new layer of regulation. It's not just about which bacteria are present, but what the environment allows them to do. This opens the door to revolutionary new therapies. Imagine, personalized probiotics designed to boost L. crispatus, prebiotic glycans that help protective bacteria thrive, screening tools to identify at-risk pregnancies based on microbiome and glycan profiles, Science is beginning to see the vaginal microbiome not just as a passive environment, but as a therapeutic target, a powerful lever we can use to protect pregnancy and improve birth outcomes. The data is clear. Women with high vaginal levels of lactobacillus, crispatus are less likely to give birth prematurely. Those with low lactobacillus and high bacterial diversity are at greater risk. The future of maternal health may well be microbial, and it starts with understanding, protecting, and nurturing our invisible allies. Thank you for watching. 
If you found this video insightful, please like, subscribe, and share. Let's spread awareness and advocate for better care for all pregnant people, starting with what can't be seen but matters most.